uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans, these other things, if you are, wherever you are, what are you doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to channel, I'm Bushkrin, today's video is very simple, I'm going to keep it very, very simple, one sentence to describe what's going on, and why it's a good thing. This first one is very, very straightforward, and I'm going to show you my hand cam too, while I do this, six finger claw, love it! Uh, getting a smoke out, preemptive smoke, and I'm just going to try and get a knock here, so that I can get a knock, and they can't just spray us. Give them a knock, let them think about what's going on, get the uh, Mego up, and then move on. Then we want to push them, but they're all up, so we need another knock. Get a knock, push. Push on the knock, push on the knock. Even if there's people there, there's going to be at least one knocked, one looking after the person. That gives us an opportunity to get up and move. Now I'm going to take the flank on the push. Taking the flank. Now my job here is to hold the middle. If they need help, get side shots in and then hold the flank. Win this one-on-one -on -one so no one can get flanks on us. That's exactly what we do. And then I can move back in and collapse and help the middle. Having a flank, having a spread is really important. Gangsy does a lot of damage, does a trade, and I finish up. Nice, safe, solid, fun stuff. This is a squad pushing up on the end of the circle. We're going to get in a great position to gatekeep them, but watch how I don't go over the ridge line the whole time. I'm using the ridge line. Standing on top of the ridge line or on the other side of the ridge line is just absolutely going to get you rinsed. This way, you're only firing when you've got rounds in the gun, and it's very, very easy to not get wrecked doing this. Use ridge lines, use them properly. Hot drops. Uh, this is about DMRs. Tap out your DMRs. Got to learn how to use M16s and SKSs and things like that. They're really good on hot drops. Like, because if you can use any kind of weapon like that, you're going to do exceptionally well. Uh, tracking footsteps. You're going to track this guy's footsteps. Listen for the jump out. And then as soon as we hear it, we push. Tracking footsteps. Well, we're new CQC battles on hot drops. Uh, this one... This one's pretty straightforward. This is another one of those uh, whole, you are got to push into the circle thing. You can't push in until you clear the corner. Uh, you want to push in, but if you push in without getting rid of these guys in the flank, while you're up and about, they're going to come back and wreck you. So you clear them first and then move in. You don't want to be running in through the blue like that. This is something I want to point out. There's a couple of guys over there. Uh, we're going to get a headshot with the AWM and then we hold, we hold, we hold, we hold. We're waiting. His mate's behind the other rock. And he wants to get back and revive his mate. Here we go. You ready? Smoke comes up. We're expecting him now because the smoke's gone. Clear the target. Now, this one is pretty straightforward. Very, very straightforward. In fact, this is just a simple scar rail spray. The scar rail is massively underrated. It's nearly as good as the M416, and it's a weapon that needs to be used more often. This is tapping on the hot drop again. Watch how fast my right finger taps. This is a big advantage of running claw. If you're not running claw and you're a thumb player, you're really missing out a lot of that kind of stuff. And it's stuff you should probably do. SKS is another gun that we talked about earlier being underrated. Um, just get it straight on with the target, even if it rises up a little bit. One of those shots might end up being a headshot because it's going to kick up a little bit. As long as you're tapping it on a vertical line at a target, you're going to be fine. Don't hide in these things. I mean, if you're in a little box, it's called a coffin. Don't do that to yourself. Uh, I don't know why this clip is in here. Barrel's good. <laughs> I guess that's a good reason for it. Uh, Mark 14 is legitimately humongous. Uh, I've tapped that guy out with a shot before I went to the crate, and then I get him a headshot straight away. Yeah, don't muck around with Mark 14s. It's nearly like getting shot with a bolt-action rifle. It's pretty scary stuff. Uh, if you've got windows when people are pushing, use them. Get an angle on a doorway where there's a window, and then you can time your pre-fire perfectly. Be very, very careful doing that if you're the aggressor. Not a great idea to be doing this. Um, this is another hot drop one. This is the S12K. Oh, it's not the S12K, the over-under. This thing is brutal. People need to use more shotguns. It's an absolutely key thing. Worst iron sights in game, Scar L. But again, it's brilliant at spraying. It's absolutely brilliant at spraying. Just brilliant at spraying. <laughs> Here we go. Scar L. A little bit of pro-leaning. 
Yeah, you gotta get your lean buttons. I have it on lean and hold, uh, which works very, very well. This one's uh, pushing into a crate drop in San Martin, which is sweaty as anything. Uh, and you're gonna see good entry here, straight through the window. This is a bit average in terms of sprays, but we get it done. Uh, the next one though, watch as I'm coming up the stairs, there is a flare gun. And as soon as I see that pop up on my loot screen, I'm immediately like, get cover, get cover, get cover, get cover. He's gotta be in here somewhere. There he is. And then we both run around missing a lot of shots. But if I had have just not noticed that, I wouldn't have been expecting that guy to be where he was. So paying attention to what's on the ground and using it to be effective is gonna help you an awful, awful lot. Uh, this is an AWM. Great, lovely, sounds good, right? Um, and it works a treat. This is really about when you're going in and you start getting shot at, go straight to ground, just go to ground. Especially if you're running in on the edge of zone and they've been camping you out, you know there's someone around with you, hit the deck. This has saved my life so many times, just hit the deck. Uh, thanks very much for watching, just a quick one, just wanted to put those together, just cut out the footage today, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, look after yourselves, take these little hints to boot and uh, have a good one. Bye for now.